Hello students. Today we will discuss about the keywords for the lesson plants, parts and their functions. So look at the first keyword children. Tap root. So tap root it is the main root of a plant which penetrates the earth downward and from which arises small lateral roots. So tap root is the main root like this which is arising and on it a small lateral roots will be you can be seeing and fibrous root small hair like roots arise from the base of the stem and all roots are similar and there is no main root so here all are arising from the same place they are arising from the same place like this so these are called fibrous roots. So there is no main root over here. When you look at the tap root, there is a main root on which small lateral roots are arising. But here in fibrous root, they are arising from the same place and all are of similar. There is no main root in the fibrous root system. So these two are the root systems in the plants. Next, petiole. The slender stalk by which the leaf is attached to the stem. When you look at the leaf, it is attached to the stem by the slender stalk. This is the stalk by which it is attached to the stem. So this is known as the petiole. Next, lamina. Lamina is the, the flat part of a leaf. So this is the flat part of the leaf. When you look at the leaf, this is the flat portion. This is called as the lamina. Next, stomata. Stomata is the bean shaped a god cell. The bean shaped part that you see in the leaf acts like our nose. These are called, called stomata. It is useful in the exchange of gases between the plant and atmosphere so these are the small pores which are present on the leaf through which the gaseous exchange takes place like our nose stomata are present in the leaves of a plant next reticulate venation a web like arrangement of veins in a leaf so when you look at the leaf there are veins like this veins will be present they are these are called veins they will be arranged like web like manner then it is called as reticulate venation next is parallel venation arrangement of veins in a leaf as parallel lines when you look at the leaf with parallel venation they are the veins are arranged in parallel lines like this so they are, this type of venation is called as parallel venation. Next, transpiration. Plants release excess water in their body through stomata. In the form of vapor from leaves is called as transpiration. Just now we have discussed stomata. So they are small pores. So through that small pores water is released into the atmosphere. So, this process is called as transpiration. Okay, children. Thank you.